Our mandate was to do things differently and promote the interest of our party. And our office, the Office of the National Youth Leader, took that mandate very seriously. And we know that this is an election year, so we had a commitment to ensure that we can increase the number of young people, according to our party constitution, 40 years and below, who were running or participating in this election. As a result of that, we set up this high-level working group on youth inclusion in the 2023 election that is composed of some of the best minds that this country has produced so far uh, in the youth sector. The committee of the working group is chaired by one of our own, uh, engineer Ahmed Salih Jo Ahmed, the director general and the managing director of the Nigerian Rural Identification Agency, uh, who is the co-chair of this high-level working group. She is, co is joined as a co-chair of the working group by Mrs. Sholakwe Agagu Amont, not just the daughter of the former governor of uh, Ondo State, Governor Agagu, but also a special advisor to the governor of Lagos State on Sustainable Development Goal. What we have done with the high level working group is to bring together young people who are in very senior positions, like even Zakari Ahmed, who is the SA to the president of infrastructure, to use their influence, their powers, and their connection and their access to be able to pave way for other young people in public office. So one of the things that we have done, which the uh, chairperson of the committee will be really now, is to begin to engage policymakers and lobby for positions directly from the power brokers in the state, including governors of some state and other power brokers to ensure that we can increase the participation of young people. And I'm delighted at the progress that they have made, which engineer Sally Ijo Ahmed is going to be really now to us here. And so the purpose of this gathering is for them to give an account to the young people of Nigeria on the progress of that high-level working group, including the other committee that was recently created, uh, which is the uh, steering committee for the presidential engagement with all our aspirants, which will now focus on the presidential candidate of our party. We want to be able to know what the candidate of our party that emerges from the primary would have for we, the youth of Nigeria. And so there are different activities that we have introduced in the youth wing to ensure that we can begin to mainstream the voices of young people of our party and make sure that the youth of this party are not taken for granted. You will recall my speech at the house of, uh, at, at the Asso Rock Villa, in the presence of the first lady and governors and all our aspirants, that the youth of our party will not be used to snatch ballot boxes this year. We're not going to be used to perpetrate electoral violence in this election, but we're going to get a seat at the table and play a critical role in this electoral process. And we're going to produce members of the House of Assembly, we're going to produce deputy governors, we're going to produce uh, speakers of parliament, members of the House of Reps, members of the Senate, by the grace of the Almighty God, and we're hope, believing by the grace of God that the next administration of the APC will be totally youth friendly and our advocacy is to have 70% of the coming administration in appointments and cabinet for young people, either young men or young women. So they're helping us screen some of these young aspirants and our work is not going to stop here. After the elections, you know, we're going to provide technical guidance uh, for our young aspirants. We're going to give them the opportunity to work with the best minds internationally, you know, so that we can come up with the right manifestos, we can help them with fundraising and things like that so that beyond you know the primaries going into the general elections we continue to support them and ensure as the youth leader has mentioned we have up to 70 percent of young people around every state you know in having uh, either political positions or filling in political appointments within the states so that